The information is presented for educational purposes only, is not intended to diagnose or prescribe for any medical or psychological condition, or to prevent, treat, mitigate, or cure such conditions. This information is only presented here for entertainment and educational purposes only. Living Waters Wellness Center was formed after we discovered how to heal my own body from the multiple symptoms, including allergies, asthma, chronic fatigue, back pain, psoriasis, acne, hives, yeast infections, and finally, cancer. After 20 years of trying numerous different treatments, everything from medical to cleanses, iridology, muscle therapy, acupuncture, acupressure, homeopathy, naturopathy, these experiences led us to discover the recipe that became known as the Four Natural Laws of Healing. Combining multiple natural healing modalities to fully detox, cleanse the body, and then allowing the body to take the perfect nutrition to fully restore the body back to its innate health. This became known as the 10-Day Healing Retreat. We have helped thousands of people just like you get their health restored so they can live their life to the fullest extent. If you want to know what that more that looks like, go to livingwaterscleanse.com and click on the video for Natural Laws of Healing. Or call the office at 208-378-9911. Good morning, everyone. David DeHaas from Living Waters Wellness Center and your host of the Whole Body Detox Show. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to be talking about foods that help you heal. One of the biggest questions I get from time to time is, David, what do you eat? We're going to talk about what I eat and what you maybe should be eating on this show today and some of the benefits of these foods and probably a few tips on how to cook them and make them easy to eat. If you miss any part of the show and want to listen to the whole show or any of our shows, we are archived on our podcast platform at wholebodydetoxshow.com or where if you have the podcast app on your phone, just Google Whole Body Detox Show, we'll pop up and you'll see the 70 episodes that we've put there so far to this date. I want to highlight it's a few of the key shows. One was with Dr. Ellen Tart Jensen, uh, which was the hit called The History of Colon Hydrotherapy. Fascinating show. Dr. Ellen Tart Jensen uh, gives you a great overview uh, since she's been involved in the colon hydrotherapy industry since way back in the 1960s when it changed her world forever. We did a show not too far back. It was very, very popular. Kind of just knocked us out of the park in terms of views or listens, I should say, was a, a show with, doc, with uh, Ashley Everly. And that was about recovering her vaccine-injured child. So that was a great show as well. A lot, of, a lot of really cool guests I've had over the years. We had Savvy Vargas on just a few weeks ago. That show was very popular on using stem cell patches to activate your body's growth of stem cells in your own body. Very fascinating show. You might want to go back and listen to that. Anyway, you peruse that over there at wholebodydetoxshow.com. Thanks for joining us. Let's get right into it. Let's talk about foods to eat. As I reflect back on my own journey... Growing up and uh, changing my diet, it was a process. It was about three or four steps forward and a step back. I'm going to talk about the chemicals that we get addicted to in some of these foods and the new chemical addictions you're going to create in your own body so that you can head towards healing and wellness. I had the distinct advantage of growing up in the 60s and 70s that everything back then was organic. There was no such thing. You go in the store and uh, look for organic or non-genetically modified foods, because that wasn't a thing yet. And if you look back and go back in that time in history, uh, you know, we did not have so many people overweight. And of course, the food chemists got together in the, during World War II and started creating dehydrated foods and hydrogenated foods. And that's where we got the margarines and some of these chemical foods that, of course, then they, list, they figured out how to grow some of these things very quickly with giving them hormone injections. You're thinking of your chickens right now. Anyway, the food chemistry really got a hold of us and really did a number on us. And if you think, look back on when the people really started getting sick and we had all the cereals introduced in the last century and especially after World War II, so many things changed very fast and we began consuming that stuff. And then, of course, 1996 led to the uh, advent of people putting on Roundup on their fields, Roundup Ready Wheat. And now we've got people with gluten intolerances and a big problem. So foods are important and foods heal. And so really simple to follow a good track. And so I'm going to give you the, the, the data points. Uh, can I tell you my journey, how I switched out? First of all, I had to clean up my body. I had to clean up the toxins in my own body, which meant, number one, colon hydrotherapy. Job one, colon hydrotherapy. We're going to clean out the gut. I have a webinar on the site over at livingwaterscleanse.com called The Four Natural Laws of Healing. 
You really need to watch that. You'll probably watch it twice. A lot of information, 68 minutes. I go into great detail on how everything in your body is connected to the gut. So how that gut lives is how you live. For those of you who have suffered with constipation, colon hydrotherapy is your best friend. If you're not going to the bathroom after you eat, you're a constipated person. The average person packing 12 to 15 pounds of just old fecal matter rotting and putrefying that gut, and that's going to disrupt the neurons from firing and wiring your nerves that connect to the gut. I mentioned every organ, whether it's your eyes or your ears, your teeth, your arm, your hands, your ribs, your heart, your liver, your spleen, all connect to the gut. And if those neurons aren't firing and wiring properly because they've got constipation in there, or worse yet, you're one of those people who have constant diarrhea. You're probably one of those people who have had way too many rounds of antibiotics. You use the nuclear bomb to basically blow everything up, attack all the bacteria. Let's just get it all out of there, right? That's what you did. you got to restore that. And so our 10-day healing retreat is you're going to be your best friend, your quickest, fastest way back to healing and getting your body back to homeostasis, back to balance. And that's what you want. So if you're suffering from hives, psoriasis, brain fog, uh, any kind of gut issue whatsoever, thyroid issues, hormone issues, that all relates back to inflammation caused by a very toxic body. And we're the ones that help you get rid of that inflammation quickly and easily via the steps that we use on our 10-day healing retreat, which you'll learn about in the four natural laws of healing. But let's talk about food state. First of all, when I started out years ago trying to switch my taste, I bought myself a really good juicer. Well, back up. First, I had a bad juicer. And the bad juicer broke apart. It almost hit my little baby girl in the face. And I thought, oh my gosh, these little $69 juicers, uh, not a good thing. So I got rid of that. And I went out and bought my very first high quality masticating juicer made by Omega. And it's, it's a masticating juicer means it goes at very slow RPM. And that's what you want if you're going to juice. Because if you juice at a high RPM, think Breville juicers, Jack LaLanne juicers. They, they spin at a very high speed, which is great for quick, fast juice. They have a pretty big uh, opening, so you can put, like, put a whole apple in them. The masking juicers, the holes aren't quite so big, so you have to do a little more food prep, but it's slowly turning and pressing that juice, pressing those nutrients out of that food, and you're going to get a food that's not oxidized. What I mean by not oxidized, you're going to have the whole nutrition in it, and so and it's going to taste better. And when it tastes better and you're getting more of your nutrition, you're not going to spend as much money buying produce to juice it as you would with a centrifugal force juicer like the Breville's or the Jack Lanes or any of the other cheap juices that are out there. So invest, number one, in a good quality tool. You're going to probably spend three to 500 bucks. You can get a really good juicer for about, they've raised their prices a bit, but really you're going to probably invest 350 360 to 400 for your basic masticating juicer. It's going to be really easy for you to juice your foods. And what I want you to start with it, to begin with is, you know, put an apple in, put some carrots in, those are sweet, and, you know, start with two to four ounces a day, and then work your way up, and then pretty soon, let's let's go, let's go do some celery in it, let's put some cucumbers in it, and just keep adding, and your tastes are going to get more accustomed to getting some of these green juices in you, and ideally, what I'd have you do in the morning, first thing in the morning, one of the great superfoods is organic celery juice, and again, you're probably not going to taste when you first switch over, uh, but again, start with four ounces, start with six ounces, and then work your way up until you're doing eight to 16 ounces a day. And then let that be your first thing in the morning, and then wait about 20, 30 minutes before you eat food and let the salts and that, and that celery juice do its thing on your gut. And you're going to really appreciate doing that for your body over time. Really good benefits to using just straight celery juice. Now, if you're going to start doing some greens like spinach and kale, uh, those kind of things, you definitely have to have a masticating juicer because you're going to spend a boatload of money on produce to do it on a centrifugal force juicer. You'll bankrupt your pocketbook. And so the extra money you spend on a masticating juicer is going to reap its rewards very quickly when you start going to greens. You want to press the greens uh, using the juicer, whether it be shard or kale or spinach or whatever. Now, when you're sipping this down for the first time, you're thinking, oh, man, this doesn't taste so great. I mean, you're just not accustomed to it yet. It's eventually going to taste really good. <laughs> Trust me, if you're switching from, especially if you've been a sugar, sugar addict like I was, when you first do it, you're probably not going to be a big fan. But as you continue to consume this, even in little bits, your chemistry of your body is going to change. It'll change even faster if you come in and 
help get those chemicals out of your body by doing colon hydrotherapy, doing a deep tissue cleanse, cleaning up the liver, cleaning up the blood. We want to get that chemistry switched over as quickly as we can. So I always tell people, it doesn't matter whether you're a sugar addict, a cocaine addict, a meth addict, it's the emotional chemicals that's causing you to want to reach out and grab those same chemicals every time. So we got to switch that. And mind mind over matter is not going to work. We got to go in and change the chemistry. And the quickest way is to dilute that and clean out the body using colon hydrotherapy. And on our website, if you ever thought about doing colon hydrotherapy, you want to know how that's done. It's really easy. You'll feel so much better after you do one. But go over to the, the site and under modalities, look under, under treatments, look under colon hydrotherapy, a little 10-minute video shows you how it's done. Super easy to do. Going to change your body, going to change your life once you discover the benefits of colon hydrotherapy. We've been talking about foods to eat today. And I, last segment, I talked about buying, investing in a good quality juicer, start juicing up some of these uh, superfoods. We're talking about some of the things that, that are really beneficial for your body. First one's apple. If you're looking for a quick snack rather than uh, going and buying something that's not good for you, get organic apples. My favorite is the Honeycrisp apples, my favorite. And uh, usually in the afternoon around here at Living Waters, I get the cravings to have a little something something, as my wife calls it. I will go get myself a Honeycrisp, I peel the apple, chop it up, and then I add a little bit of hazelnut butter or some almond butter to it. And that's my little treat in the afternoon down here at Living Waters, if I want a treat. Apples are very, very good for you. First of all, fiber is going to help bulk up. It's going to help you have a better bowel movement. The other great thing about apples is that it supports the liver's hydration capabilities. And then helps release it back into the bloodstream, which is pretty fantastic. Uh, it also helps clean up the liver. So you're going to get a little bit of a help detoxifying that liver, which your poor old liver has been doing so many things for you, trying to protect you uh, by absorbing some of them toxins and then finding places to store it. So you got to love your liver. On our, If you do our 10-day healing retreat protocol, you'll do a liver cleanse on it. And then afterwards, we encourage you to keep doing liver cleanses over the next rest of your life, really. I've done 57 liver cleanses. Why? Because I had a super toxic liver uh, and... Uh, quickest way to get that liver detox is to do our cleanse. Another benefit of apples is it helps starve out the bacteria, yeast, and mold, and other funguses uh, from the intestinal tract on the liver. It's also great for helping dissolve gallstones. Apricots, not my favorite fruit, apricots, but apricots are awesome because they help uh, easily assimilate vitamin A uh, that does not overload your liver and it helps protect from cell damage. Apricots also serve up beneficial copper that can help bond to toxic coppers inside the liver and help carry them out. If you're looking for something to sweeten up your drinks, then I look to raw honey. You can find it from a local producer, all the better, especially if you have allergies from the local plants. Raw honey, that straight from the hive, is excellent for many reasons. It's antimicrobial, antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal. So, yes, you can use honey. Now, if you go to the store, don't buy the honey out of the little plastic bottles. One, it's been in plastic. Two, it's not going to have near the quality of the raw honey you would get from a local beekeeper. So if you can find that, that's best. Go to your local farmer's market, support them, get the real deal. Another great sweetener is black strap molasses. High in a lot of minerals, especially iron. It's great for the body. It is a little bit of a different taste than, say, honey. <laughs> but blackstrap molasses is an excellent product to have on your shelf in your kitchen. Pineapples. If you're having gallbladder issues, pineapples are excellent. It's a highly acidic fruit, number one. Really great for helping clean out the liver. Dispersing degreasing agents, basically, to help detoxify your liver. So don't ignore pineapple. But again, buy it organic. One of the things you will notice as you transition to a healthier lifestyle, eating live foods, raw foods, or slightly steamed foods, is your tastes are going to change significantly. But your body's going to be getting a whole bunch of benefits, things that you just can't even fathom right now. So begin making the transition as quickly as you can. Number one, you're going to have to do some colon hydrotherapy, help clean out that gut. 
One of the fruits in season that's excellent to help you move things along in the gut is peaches. I love a peach off a tree. Now, unfortunately, if you're getting your peaches out of the store, uh, you're going to notice they don't really taste very good. Have you noticed that? It's because they picked them too early. They've not ripened. Uh, so if you can get to an orchard, that would be ideal. We used to have a lot of orchards out in Emmett, up in central Idaho and Whitebird area, but they've long gone, unfortunately. So you can do what I did. I planted a peach tree. Oh my goodness, it is like candy. <laughs> a good peach, a good quality organic peach. Oh my goodness. So plant a peach tree. You know, they're talking about uh, food shortages. I don't think they're talking about it. They've already planned it. So anything you can do to grow your own organic vegetables, and it doesn't take much. Look at it. If it kind of overwhelms you at first, just start with a couple of pots. You don't need to have a full box in the garden and go and tear out a bunch of your lawn. You can start just very simply. Get some big pots, maybe four or five of them. You can actually hook up a automatic sprinkler system to them. Just get your timer, hook it to your hose, go down to pan pack, get yourself the little drip irrigation, pop it in the pots. You're good to go. You can go away for several days. You're going to be fine. Uh, so start with that. And that's a good easy way to start. I started years ago. I went, I went a little higher than that. I did four boxes and brought in the dirt, brought in and mulched the soil and so forth. And, you know, I'm not the best gardener. I'll tell you, I'm kind of put plant it, leave it alone. I, but I got the drip irrigation and uh, I'm not good about going out and weeding and checking things. But again, just start, get started doing something. If everyone did a little something, we could take the burden off the production chain of these foods. And again, we've got an enormous amount of ability to produce a lot of food in our own front yards. You got to go grow your greens on YouTube. Go check out that channel. That's John Kohler of Discount Juicers. He's got his whole front and backyard, these braised boxes, and he juices a ton and he's got a ton of produce coming off his property. In fact, so much so he has to hire someone to help him. I mean, it's amazing. We have the ability to do that. So, again, start small. Now, another thing I haven't done for a number of years, but I'm going to, uh, I'm researching it right now, which system to get, but hydroponics. So, I'm looking at hydroponics right now. I'll let you know how that story pans out. I grew hydroponically years ago. A lot of fun. Things grow fast. And the great thing about it is if you put some grow lights, you can do it all year long. You can grow your produce. Maybe you start real simple. I've got a little gadget at home that, a hydroponic system, very small one. I just grow simple herbs in it, uh, like parsley and mint and so forth. Mint, mint's excellent course of seasoning your food. Mint grows like, you can't stop mint from growing. You can plant that. You can't kill mint. Man, you grow, I put it out by a tree and it doesn't get much sun and that stuff just grows and grows and grows. So you'll pretty soon have too much of a mint problem, but excellent for seasoning your your, your foods is mint and you can grow that very easily. You just need a little start and it'll take off and pretty soon you'll have a lot of mint on your hands. Now, if you start growing some of these things and then you go, what do I do with it, right? Well, there's where a dehydrator comes in. So getting a dehydrator, investing in a dehydrator, if you want to go that far, I've got one. Do I use it? Hardly ever. Uh, but I have it there and if I ever got the, uh, in the rhythm of, of using it, uh, again, you, you produce enough fruit and vegetables, you want to dehydrate some of the stuff, that's your tool for doing it. Invest in a good one. Always spend the time and the money to research and find out what you think you'll use and what you'll do and just start from there. So again, baby steps, start doing it immediately. And speaking of ones you should go is parsley. Parsley is really good, especially if you're going to start a parasite cleanse. Uh, we've got herbs down here to help with the parasites. Of course, our 10-day wellness retreat is your best bet to get rid of the parasites. Usually takes all the tools to really get rid of parasites. But anyway, if you're going to start a parasite cleanse for you and even your pets, you'll boil up some parsley water and you'll start drinking a few ounces of parsley water each day and prepping for your parasite cleanse. And parsley really helps the liver <laughs> detox. So I did a whole show on liver detox. And I think it's back on episode 49. I talk all about the liver and gallbladder. So Really important show to go listen to if you want to understand uh, why it's important to do a liver cleanse. Pomegranates, when you get them, another excellent uh, fruit to have. It contains anthocyanines, which help rejuvenate liver cells. Um, it's excellent for cleaning up, help clean up the passageways of the liver. Uh, one of my favorite is radishes. I crave radishes. Obviously, my body needs them. If you notice you're craving certain foods, the good ones, 
<laughs> not the toxic ones. There's some vitamin mineral in there your body definitely needs. And for me, it's always been radishes. A lot of chemical compounds in radishes also helps disinfect the liver as well. So win-win. Mango is another good group fruit to have. And my wife likes to use the mangoes and she'll uh, mix that with some cherries, maybe raspberries and blueberries, and maybe then add in her green juice. And she'll juice the greens first and then add that in. She's got a little cocktail that she has. But mangoes are really good for your liver as well. It helps slow down the aging uh, in the uh, from the cells in your liver as well. So good, another good fruit for the, for the liver. We'll be back in a moment. You've been listening to the Whole Body Detox Show. I'm your host, David DeHaas. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. You can't treat the body and heal it a piece at a time. You have to treat the whole body naturally. That's why Living Waters Wellness Center 10-Day Healing Retreat is so successful in helping what I call the incurables back to wellness. Here's what a few clients had to say about their experience at Living Waters Wellness Center. For over a year, I've been dealing with gas pains and stomach pains and been waking me up in the middle of the night so I never get a full night's rest. And last night after my first colonics, I slept through the entire night without any stomach pain or any kind of issues. I suffered from migraine headaches for 12 years, once a month. And since I did the 10 day retreat at Living Waters Wellness Center eight years ago, I have not even had a migraine. I've not even had a headache. I had back pain on my left side for about 20, 25 years. After the 10 day healing retreat, the pain is completely gone. To learn more about the 10-Day Healing Retreat, go to HealingTheIncurables.com or call the office at 208-378-9911. That's 208-378-9911. The preceding examples may not be typical of your experience and may not be right for you. Seek the opinion of a qualified health care professional before determining if cleansing is right for you. Welcome back. David DeHaas, your host of the Whole Body Detox Show from Living Waters Wellness Center. See, if you want to schedule a consult and see if cleansing is right for you, just reach out to us at 208-378-9911. If you missed any part of the show, don't worry. We've got it on the podcast. Wherever you get your podcast, if you have the app, just type in a Whole Body Detox Show. You'll see all 70 episodes there. In addition, you can also go right directly to the website, wholebodydetoxshow.com or over on livingwaterscleanse.com. So we've got stashed in a lot of places so you can reach and learn about healing the body naturally, which if you haven't watched the webinar, Four Natural Laws of Healing, you need to go do that immediately. Because we're going to teach you how to detoxify the body. How are you going to heal? At the end of the day, like I told this poor gal that came in this week, oh my goodness, severe. I mean, just gals, you name it, she's been, she's done it. She's spent a lot of money, still sick. And like I told her, it's very simple. All of these symptoms you've been changing are the result of inflammation from a very toxic, toxic body. And of course, one of the first things we talk about is bowel movements. So if you don't have a great bowel movement, you're going to have inflammation eventually and some kind of dis-hyphen ease in your body. So job number one is cleaning up that colon and small intestine and then cleaning out that blood and then giving up perfect nutrients. And what we're talking about today on this show is nutrition and the foods and some of the foods I love to eat and the way I prep them. So we've been talking a lot about the fruits. We're going to jump in now to some of the vegetables I like. So number one is, uh, you know, if you're doing salads, you better have spinach in that salad. It helps with B12 production, helps helps out the liver a whole bunch. Think about what your liver is doing every day. You got to give the liver you know, a little love now and then because the liver's got a couple thousand functions, chemical functions that it does every day. So anything you can do to help that poor liver do its processes, that's important. So juicing or eating spinach, uh, and if you want to get uh, a little creative from time to time, besides just juicing it or putting it in a salad, uh, I like to occasionally uh, make an omelet and I'll use a lot of spinach in my omelet, a well with some good onions. Onions, <coughs> excuse me, onions have their own anti- microbial sulfur compounds that will help expel the unwanted pathogens in your liver and also a disinfecting effect as well. Now, one of my favorite, favorite little serving ups is uh, orange juice. Now, I don't go buy orange juice in a box or a plastic jug. I get organic oranges that cost about a buck 69 to $2.39 a pound right now. It usually takes about three of them to make a good glass of orange juice. But I mean for vitamin C, you leave those in the refrigerator so they're nice and cool. Put it in your masticating juicer. Let that juicer do its job in squeezing every bit of juice out of that 
out of that orange and it is candy. Oh my goodness. If you got kids and you want to boost their vitamin C intake, get organic juices and get it, have a great masticating juicer. Again, invest in that juicer. Now, I know some of you are going to say, well, David, I'm allergic. I have these food allergies. I have food sensitivities. No, that's really not what you have. What you have is a toxic body, a toxic gut, and it's got little tiny holes in it. And so really your term is, they can call it leaky gut. They can call it autoimmune. If you've got any of these labels served up to you, know that your way out of it is really simple. You've got to clean the body. You've got to detoxify the colon, detoxify the small intestine, open up that pathway, clean out this lymphatic system, clean up that liver, clean up that blood. There's a lot of ways to go about it, but you've got to be using colon hydrotherapy. If you're not doing that, well, you're just going to keep this dyshypoesis in some form or fashion for the rest of your life. And once you take the impetus to come in and start cleaning out the body, your world is going to change for the better forever. Just like what I experienced back in the 1990s when I did my first colonic, and I went, holy moly, why didn't someone tell me about this earlier? And, of course, today I've done well over 500 clonics over the last 20-some years. I've done 57 liver cleanses, and why do I keep doing it? Well, I'm getting older, and so are you. And I want to go backward in aging, and I don't want to be just someone sitting around in a rest home someplace existing on earth. No, I want to be productive to the very last day and go out like a light bulb. Click, I'm gone. Sayonara, but I live my best life when I could. So for me, that means skiing, riding dirt bikes, whatever I want to do. And I want to have my brain running on all cylinders as well. So you've got to take care of the gut. If you've got brain fog, that's transverse colon issues. That's all the connections from the brain to the transverse colon. You're going to learn about that in the webinar, the four natural laws of healing. So scoot on over to livingwaterscleanse.com. Grab that webinar. Watch it. Watch it twice. It's 68 minutes. And I, when I began that, when I first did that webinar, it was two hours. So I pack a lot very quickly. Don't try and skip through it because you're going to miss some important points that you're going to need to know. Again, I give you the data on how to heal your own body. How great's that? Especially if you've spent spent if you spent the last 5, 10, 15, 20 years sitting in doctor's offices, spending a ton of money like this poor gal was in this week. Oh my gosh, the money this poor lady spent is absolutely shocking. Of course, she's not getting better. She's getting worse. And of course, what was her biggest problem? Bowel problems. Poops like a rabbit. And that's not a good habit. Yeah, I like that for a pun. Anyway, so these foods. So once we get everything cleaned up, we're going to start giving these micronutrients. And here's my other pet peeve of the week. If you're not spending two to five bucks a day on a good quality vitamin supplement, that's like driving a car with no oil in it. Why would you do that, right? You've got to have good quality foundation of micronutrients in your body on a daily basis. I don't care how well you eat. You're not going to get it all from food because the soils are so poor. Maybe back in 1920 you could, 1930, 40, but not today. No, not going to happen. Okay, other foods, I digress a bit. Other foods that I love to eat and prep. So melons are great for hydrating uh, and a lot of great antioxidants in, in melons, watermelons and so forth when they come in season. Another little tool you can use to sweeten things up, if I ever mentioned it, is maple syrup. Get the best grade you can, get organic again. Uh, and again, stay away from artificial sweeteners of any kind. I can't believe how many people come in and are using artificial sweeteners because they were to told they had yeast candida. Well, stay away from sugar, so use an artificial sweetener. Okay, why don't... It's just the most stupid, most insane advice I've ever heard of, and I can't believe people actually pay for that advice. Think about it. Aspartame, these things are toxic to the brain. Yeah, if you want to lose your memory sooner, sure, Go ahead and have the artificial sweeteners. But uh, uh, no, don't do that, okay? You'd be better off with straight sugar. You really, you really would be. Now, another thing we talked about a little bit last week on the show was lemon and lemon ginger. Great detoxifying drink. So have that first thing in the morning as well. It's going to help detoxify the body. Kale for your salads. Kale's bitter, but if you're juicing kale, kale spinach, and you put it in with your other juice, like your celery juice and your cucumbers and uh, so forth, again, Guys, don't get too caught up in the recipe so much. It's just start doing something. Take some action and fire up that juicer. Again, get yourself a good quality masticating juicer. Go over to discountjuicers.com. Buy it from John Kohler. On his website at Discount Juicers, 
uh, on YouTube channel. There's, I think he said 2,500 videos. You don't need to watch all those. But he's got comparisons and juice offs, and, and you'll figure out which juicer you like the best. So anyway, just take a look at that. That's the best place to get your juicer. Don't buy it from the chains. John gives you so much education. I had him on the show last year. I think he was episode number four. So you want to go listen to that episode. Amazing story how he's healed his own body simply with juicing. And that's pretty much what he exists on to this day. And the guy looks like he's a teenager. I don't know how old he is, but I know he's not a teenager. Uh, amazingly youthful, glowing skin. So if you got skin issues, skin issues, this came up this week. Hey, David, I've got acne. I've got these hives and I itch and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you do because you're toxic because your bowels are toxic and your liver's toxic. we got to clean that blood up because what the liver's done is it's hid these toxins in the skin, the subcontinuous tissue. We've been talking about foods that benefit the body today. Sometimes people come and say, gee, I can't do this, I can't do that, and, and you know, should I have this or should I have that, and this is my blood type, and so forth. Well, one of the things we teach you that definitely is worth a million dollars, not just me saying that, many clients have told me this, because we teach you how to muscle test. And muscle test is a way for you to discern whether or not a food or a nutritional supplement is right for you. And we teach that on a 10-day healing retreat. So when you come on the retreat, you'll get great value of learning that. So many clients have came back and told me after the cleanse, they, you know, they're in the store and they're testing themselves for a certain product. And they said at first they felt kind of funny about it, but you know, now they do it and they are quite happy and pleased that they're able to discern on their own and get the benefits out of the foods that their body needs. What's, it, what's your body calling for today? Well, muscle test yourself. Sometimes I mean, I came up with a no, and you're like, darn, I wanted to have that. Uh, and so it's really important to learn some of these basic tools that you can use with you and your family. And one of the great benefits over the years, I get a lot of moms that come in here, and I teach them how to work with their kids and change their diet. And one of the first things you got to do, my friends, is you've got to invest in a good quality juicer at discountjuicer.com. I don't get a dime if you go there and buy it, but John's excellent. I, I followed the guy for years. I interviewed him last year. And the guy's got an amazing story. I think it was podcast number four or five, somewhere in there last year. He gave a lot of great information. But anyway, discountjuicers.com to get a great juicer. Start with just a, start small, start easy. So with our kids, we started with an apple every day. There was always an apple in it. There was some celery, there's some cucumber. And that was basically, oh, and some carrots. That was our basically our main four years ago. Now, sometimes we go straight carrots. Straight carrots are real sweet. If you start your babies, your little kids on this right away, they're going to crave this stuff like my kids did. I remember my son Michael getting his antioxidant score when he was like age 10 or 11, and it was down. He went home and he told his mom, Mom, I need some broccoli. Steam me some broccoli. My score's down. I need to get my antioxidant score up. You know, they will remember this stuff. And the problem is today, you're, if you've got your kids in public school or even private school, if they're, making, they're, they're buying the cheapest food out there because of budget, right? Just cheap, junk food. It's horrible stuff. It's toxic stuff. So mamas, if you got kids going to school, pack them a good quality lunch. You'll figure it out. I've given you a lot of tips on this show. Uh, and you know, again, no hostess ding-dongs, no Twinkies, no box juices, none of that junk. Give them the real meal, the real deal, okay? Peanut butter and jelly, no. <laughs> on white bread, no. No, don't do that. Look at, there's so much information on the net these days, you will come up with a good combination. Hummus with celery sticks is great. Hummus with broccoli is great. You know, you don't have to use bread to have a sandwich. If you've got kids with or, that are having problems with their gut, you know, don't use bread. If you do, use organic if you do. But one of the little things that we I'll do from time to time, if I'm out traveling or on my dirt bike riding, I might sneak a little bit of uh, organic turkey and I will take some uh, seaweed and I'll just do a seaweed wrap with some uh, uh, some cucumbers and uh, some uh, turkey or chicken. And again, it's all organic. And I got to tell you that seaweed is a very, very powerful, dense nutrient. And we talked about this on the iodine show, episode 47, I believe. We talked about iodine. And back in the day, I mean, they got all their iodine from the seaweed. And so you'd have these, what do they, they call them? Seaweed masters or something. I can't remember the name now. But that's how they, one of the tools they would use for treating people. So like we mentioned that episode, you're probably, I know everyone's a deficient in iodine because I test everyone that comes to the door now for iodine and I have only had one person, one person that didn't need something with extra iodine at the time, which actually quite shocked me. But, uh, but there you go. 
You got you got to get these micronutrients into your body. You're not going to get them if you're buying box foods, guys. Sorry, <laughs> you're not doing well. By the way, I mentioned this. I think in last week's episode, if you've got a microwave, the best thing you can do with that microwave is take it out, take it to the desert. If you like to target practice, target practice on that microwave. And of course, dispose of it properly, obviously. But anyway, microwave turns your food, even water, to a toxic source. So don't reheat anything in a microwave. No microwaves. There shouldn't be a home in the valley that has a microwave in it. They're absolutely super dangerous. I hope you get my point. Get rid of your microwave now. I know I had to be told three or four times by experts to not use my microwave. And I, when I saw the blood chemistry, what happens to the blood after you, you take in food that's been microwaved, changed my, my perception on a dime, and that microwave is gone the very next day. Okay, I've talked a lot about fruit today, but I'll talk about some of the vegetables I cooked and how I cook it. Uh, cauliflower, love cauliflower. Now, well, how I bake most of my stuff is I put it in a pie plate with about a half inch of water, and with cauliflower, I will put the uh, drip it with olive oil, organic olive oil over it, get a good quality olive oil. Hopefully, you're buying it in glass. And then put some Himalayan salt on it. That comes out baked. That is smoking great. It's, oh my goodness, it is so good. Your taste buds will pop up and salute you and thank you for having that. Same thing with squashes. So, for those of you who have not ventured into squashes, I remember one time watching a little. A uh, YouTube video this guy trying to peel a squash before it's been baked. Here's what you do. Again, pie plate, water, put the squash in it, bake it for an hour until you can at least poke your knife all the way through it. Pull it out, let it cool, peel it, take out the seeds, throw it in a blender, put in some organic. Uh, I like to use uh, chicken stock. really makes it taste good. I put in some fat. I put some coconut oil. I put in my Himalayan salt, my new salt seasoning as well. And I saute some onions and garlic. I put that in it. I put the blender on, whip it up. I got myself instant soup. Excellent. Again, but if you don't want to do that, you want to have something uh, with a little, you know, you want to have soup, then bake it the same way, peel it, so forth. And then, again, <clears throat> drip some olive oil on it, put some Himalayan salt, and uh, serve that to your kids. And, again, and your family, and they're going to love it. So a uh, great way for you do the same thing with the yams, sweet potatoes, lots of nutrition in that. Again, buy organic. And if you've got a little garden you're growing, you're going to need more room for those. Uh, but uh, they're very inexpensive products to buy. And again, I spend most of my money in that little 2,000 square foot area. Maybe it's 3,000 square foot. If you put it all together, it's probably less than 1,000 square feet of the organic. If you, if you sum it all up where all the organic foods are, it's probably less than 1,000 feet in the produce area. You go into somewhere where some of the boxed organic and canned stuff is, a little more square footage. But anyway, that's where I spend all my time when I'm shopping. And you should be too, because if you don't spend the money today and don't invest today, you're going to be spending it down at the palaces of the sick, a.k.a. the hospitals, with some kind of symptom they're going to chase and put you on some kind of a medical, uh, some kind of a pharmaceutical that's going to toxify your liver and then you're just spiraling out of control. And so we want to help you stop that. Before we go today, one other favorite fruit I've got is blueberries. Oh my gosh, rich in antioxidants. And raspberries, I love those. Strawberries are a little tougher to find good, good quality strawberries anymore. But I got to tell you, those are really high in antioxidants and really helpful for the body and helpful for, for your liver. Those blueberries, they are, they are. Well, hey, I hope you've enjoyed today's show. Uh, I'm David Dahash, your host of the Whole Body Detox Show. And if you've missed any episode, go to wholebodydetoxshow.com. And there's a lot of great episodes on there. And we will continue to teach you about healing the body naturally. Go over to livingwaterscleanse.com and get that webinar, Four Natural Laws of Healing. Fournaturallawsofhealing.com if you want to go straight there. Watch that webinar and learn about how to heal the body naturally so that you can live your best life as long as you can. Stay tuned. Have a blessed week, my friends. You can't treat the body and heal it a piece at a time. You have to treat the whole body naturally. That's why Living Waters Wellness Center 10-Day Healing Retreat is so successful in helping what I call the incurables back to wellness. Here's what a few clients had to say about their experience at Living Waters Wellness Center. For over a year, I've been dealing with gas pains, stomach pains, and been waking me up in the middle of the night so I never get a full night's rest. And last night, after my first colonics, I slept through the entire night without any stomach pain or any kind of issues. I suffered from migraine headaches for 12 years, once a month, and since I did the 
10 day retreat at Living Waters Wellness Center eight years ago. I have not even had a migraine. I've not even had a headache. I had back pain on my left side for about 20, 25 years after the 10 day healing retreat, the pain is completely gone. To learn more about the 10 day healing retreat, go to healingtheincurables.com or call the office at 208 378-9911. That's 208-378-9911. The preceding examples may not be typical of your experience and may not be right for you. Seek the opinion of a qualified healthcare professional before determining if cleansing is right for you.